often get questions about how do you do a bit of research or how do you go about working on like developing your ideas for a dissertation and then how do you bring it all together which obviously is quite the task and more so recently when I did my uh, dissertation for the LLM in corporate governance and I think it's very important to have a think about that one of the main things is to think about what topic you want because I think that's like one of the, the most important parts or components is what are you going to write about and do you have enough depth of information and knowledge once you've found a topic that you think you like I, I found it really useful to just ask myself why why this topic and how is this going to be useful once you've done that and you you have that information or you have the idea more clearly in your mind you can start to structure it, structure your dissertation. And I always find it useful at this stage to create mind maps. So when you come up with what the subject is, you know, put that down on a paper, start to create related topics or ideas that you want to bring in or frameworks. And obviously, of course, all of the reading material you've been doing, how do you bring that in? And I find a mind map helps me hugely there especially like if you have it sort of at your workstation or do it on a notebook and then as I develop it more I keep the master if you will on my notebook at my desk and then I start to incorporate that into the document on my laptop or on my desktop computer or whichever way you like and then I can put my little references or reminders on my paper in my notebook and then sort of as and when the ideas develop or you know if there's ideas in a book that I'm reading or in a case study that I'm reviewing then I make sure to annotate that put the page and the you know the, the reference in there immediately as I do that I have found that the material becomes richer but also my understanding deepens on the topic and it helps me to crystallize the thoughts and um, articulate them better because I have a, a good understanding of where I hope the story is taking me, right? What you want to do then is to think about what research methodology you want to use. I'm sure you'll have done business research methods and you will have looked at uh, the different methodologies, uh, quantitative, qualitative, and then you'll obviously have to make sure that you constantly communicate uh, with your supervisor because I have found that completely priceless uh, having a really good dissertation supervisor and having a good rapport and relationship with your supervisor is very very important it's also your own responsibility to, you know don't wait for the supervisor to reach out to you because they're very busy they've got a whole bunch of people they're supervising on top of their work the onus I think is on the individual to follow up and make sure that you turn up for all the meetings and be well prepared and have lots of questions and really really pay attention to the feedback that you get. I have found that incredibly helpful. Even if you don't get it in that case, then that's a great opportunity to ask for more clarity. Another area that I found helpful was in the way that you structure the document and in the way that you put the references. I think it is very important that you follow the direction from your university in terms of how they want you to outline and share, disclose all of the uh, references that you've used throughout your research. Uh, the other thing I was going to say was time management. Time management is crucial. Time management of the dissertation is really important. So you really need to come up with a project plan and you need to make sure that you have allowances for personal time as well. You can't just work 24 seven. You have to give yourself a breathing space and you have to make allowances for any slippage. You know, there's always gonna be some stuff that comes up, not to forget, of course, you've got all your other courses and exams going on as well. So it's important to make sure that you build time for all of that and try to not stress or worrying doesn't help. And I've always found that if I'm worried about something, I will get up and do something about it. So don't sit and procrastinate. Allow time for thinking, of course, and to develop your thinking. But if you have something that you want to do and you're clear on what that is, rather than worry about it, just go and do it. So if it's about going to the library, getting resources, or having a chat with your supervisor, or you know, joining events, conferences, webinars around the topic that you're interested in, just go and do it. You won't regret it. Even if you can't attend all of it, if you're too busy, but if you can attend some of it, or if you can get the recording and watch it later, all of these things are really good. So I would highly recommend that you do that. 
make the most out of it. You have such a sense of achievement when you finally pulled it together and you've submitted it. And don't forget, the word count is important. Don't go over the word count. You will pay for it. So these are just some of the main tips around dissertation development and the thinking around it. Don't spend too much time thinking about the topic. Pin it down. You know what you want to write about. You really do. It's in you. Just pin it down and start asking the questions why and do the brainstorming and do the mind mapping. You'll find out that maybe there is a lot of content or you might find out actually this question is too closed and it just doesn't create enough content. Have a look at what you've got. Have a think. And if you found this useful, let me know. If you have any specific questions that you want me to answer, I'd be very happy to. Just write them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and like.